All right, let, let's continue, okay? But for that formula, right, if PV yield to... Uh, I send you the notes, right? you, you copy it by yourself at home. So we get this formula. Yeah, yeah. So we get this formula. Data, data. Sir, I need a copy of the Later, later. Sir, I'm going to be No, I can't help. It's not here. I think it was up later. All right. Play. And actually, we also want another formula. That is the FHKE of one more cube. L cube is volume. Uh, sure, sure, you have to. Uh, just a second. Uh, you may ask, okay, actually what we want finally. So actually we almost go to the last part of this chapter. So we have derived this formula. And so let's uh, talk about the, F, the FHKE of one molecule, of one molecule. So you know the formula for uh, Ke is half m e squared. Yep, so half m, but, but for the V, we need to use the, somehow it's, we call it the C squared. But you think about it. So what well, if I'm finding the FHKE, that means we take the half mc squared FH, is it? The FH of half m e squared, well, half mc squared. Then, but half m is a constant. So that means half m c squared FH. And then for this one, we can somehow let's see if you can uh, derive it by yourself. It can be written as V over two PV over N. Can you derive it from that one? Of course. Yeah, give you a second. One. Yeah, you just rearrange. Mm. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> and let's move on. Now, and remember from ideal gas law, we do have PV yield to NKT. So we can simplify it a bit more. So it can be written as three over two KT. That's another important formula. Yeah. Yep. 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 And let's move on. So if we still remember, we say we said that 
for the internal energy is just the sum of the Ke. So for internal energy, it can be written as N times FHKE, is it? The FH times the total number. So you get three over two NKT. Or if you like, you can write it as three over two PV. This is a really, really useful result uh, for doing the long questions. I'll show you next week Zoom lessons. Yeah. Sorry, can we please do it again? Yeah, I don't want to double take it. <laughs> like, sir, like, I will pay zero dollars. <laughs> yeah. Huh? We please call again next week? Like, like, huh? you're going to tell the future that we're going to show you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but uh, let me give you some more insights or uh, from, from these formulas. So, so if you still remember, yeah. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh. Now, if you take a look from this formula, actually we get all the things we need. So for work done, we have a formula that's negative P times change in volume. For the change in internal energy, now we get the formula for internal energy of ideal gas, is it? It, should, it is uh, three over two NLT or mm -hmm. NKT. You can write it in any other form, any, other form, any form you like. Which... Or you write it as three over two PV. Which is Q, and w, so. Q, is, Q is a heat. Is no, Q is a heat. Delta U is internal energy. Heat and work done, right? Yeah. So then for, now that means if there's a change in internal energy, then the formula will look like change in temperature, change in temperature, or change in P times V. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Then uh, actually we have, look, indeed we do finish all the stuff in these two chapters. So now? Not yet. Can you imagine that five days, four chapters? This one is it? Is it almost one fourth of the no, whole AL syllabus? Yeah. Class. So if no, if you're, if you're spending three more weeks, then we can finish the whole syllabus. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, sure. No. 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 I don't think. I think you just only only you will come. Wow. Sir, can I see like No. 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 Play. No. No. And. Uh, let's get some insights. Let's, uh, let's get insights here. So let's say for a container. So you know, uh, in normal gas, there is oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, argon, normal gases, sulfur dioxide, <laughs> nitrogen oxides. <laughs> Oh, uh, what is the mass ratio of oxygen to nitrogen? You suddenly came with a... 
almost four. I don't pay attention. Two. Oh, that's Hi. So it is actually the ratio is eight to seven. Eight to seven. Eight to seven. Oh, in oh, class. Oh, no. Fourteen, fourteen. Yeah, you don't need to know about it. Okay, just yeah, know. whatever, whatever. So I want you to find the speed ratio. The ratio of the speed of the oxygen to hydrogen. Ah, uh, sorry. I I I I I missed one concept here. So so can we can we just add, add one page here? You just add one page here yeah, in the computer. You just add one page here. It's not difficult at all using a computer. Now <laughs> now <laughs> yeah. I need to go back to talk about this one. So this is a c square. But this we have a name for it. So we call the mean square speed. And then if you take the square root outside, then it's called the wood mean square. Mm. Mm. I'll give you some example. So let's say the, the speed of the molecules. So I'll just give you three molecules, okay? Uh, sorry, the speed, uh, three speeds of three molecules. And let's say what you want. Sitana, huh? Why, why we don't speak in Cantonese? If all of you understand Cantonese. <laughs> and then how can we find the square speed, mean square speed? Uh, we use a C for the symbol of at the speed of one molecule. Oh, because this is a collective group. So mm -hmm. over x. So let me take positive. No, we mean square speed, it means you square it first and then take the average, take the mean, then divide by three. Oh. Okay? So this is what it means by the mean square speed. It should be mm -hmm. around 281. Come on. Square. Get off. Oh, well, see, see. No. No. So you get uh chop up yeah um whatever uh minute per second. Sorry, this that, that's the not the unit of the mean square mean square speed is meter square per second square. Because you square the speed. The average of the speed square is all still the unit of the speed square. So, and then how about the root mean square speed? So that means you just take the, uh, take the square root of this, this value and you will get 280 meter per second. So this is the, this is the root mean square speed. Now, 
in past paper, they actually have asked you to find the mean square speed, but given those values, I think it's just pretty easy. Come on. Hard, why hard? It's so easy. Oh, huh? uh, when we derive the formulas here, I don't want to talk about this because it's about a lot of math here. So when we derive this formula, you see when I derive it, I need to take the average of speed square, not the not the average of speed. You go back to have log to from, from the last last note. When I derive the formula, I take the average of v square, not the average of the v. So therefore, we are always talking about the mean square speed or would mean square speed, not the square, not the mean of the speed. And indeed, the mean of the speed is actually quite meaningless. I mean, why I say the average of, like you know, actually, indeed, uh, we are talking about the velocity, but if you square the velocity, it will give you a scale. So you, If you take take the FH velocity, what what do you think? What 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 will you get? FH velocity, not FH speed. Average velocity. The vector. You get you get zero because some will let's say some will move to the left, some will move to the right. See in FH you will zero. Okay, yeah. Yeah, but. Well, because uh, when we derive the formula, do you see it? We did not get any anything like the the average of speed. So we you we have derived it and we get the average of speed uh well, speed square. In the formula, there's no average of velocity. Because if it's working, yeah. we can derive it, but it's not in it's not in your level. It's in university level. We do have a formula for FA speed, but it's not in your level. The math is much more complicated. No, no. <laughs> uh, let's go back to take a look here. So you will not be asked about the, uh, the ratio of speed of the molecules. You will only ask about the wood means, the ratio of the wood mean square speed. Wood mean square. Oh, sorry, the short form for wood mean square is LMS. <laughs> RMS. So you just ask about the ratio of the wood mean square speed. And how can we make use, how can we uh, find that this ratio if you just know about the ratio of the mass? Now you know that all the gases inside a container, that you say that they all have the same temperature. Now we take a look at the formula of the FHKE. So that is half m c square. Now, I may write it as half. I take the square root first and then square it later on. It seems nothing changed, is it? Wood mean square. So this is actually the wood mean square speed square. This is a wood mean square. Right. Is it? So we write it as CLMS. So how how do you go from the mean square to the mean square? Take the square root of the mean square. You get wood mean square. 
Oh, you can just The wood mean square speed. Wood mean square speed. Wood mean square speed. Yeah. This means a CRMS. Hmm? Yeah. Come on top of M. Hi. Hi. No one. They go. But my make on what you. Hey, win, you win. Uh, let's move on. So all the guests are in the same same container. And you if you remember the formula for FHK, it can also be written as uh, 3 over 2 KT. So it means that for the same temperature. All the gas molecules, no matter how heavy they are, they have the same FHKE. And it also means that the heavier molecules, they will move slower. Heavier molecules, they move slower. Heavier, heavier. For those lighter molecules, they will move faster. How are we going to come to mass? Cause, cause the Same, for all, for... Let, 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 let me... How does that incorporate mass weight? Now let me talk about this, yeah. So for the same temperature, for the same temperature, this is a constant, is it? Oh, does yeah. each, each element have a different bond, 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 bond. No, no, bond, bond constant is constant. So for each molecule at the same temperature, for all the molecules at the same temperature, they all have the same FHKE because K and T are constant. Yeah. And different mass, they have different speed. Okay? Yeah. So that's why the speed of oxygen and nitrogen are different. Now you want to find a ratio. Uh, then that means, okay, for the F, sorry, for the uh, for, for, for the FHK of these two molecules, they are the same. So that's half M oxygen time would mean square speed oxygen square. <laughs> that is half M N square times would mean square speed nitrogen square. And whatever uh, the ratio of the speed now will be just a square root of the mass of nitrogen square. Just be yeah, that will be, be a square root of seven divided by eight. So the ratio is. Let you tune it. Let's it change on. Yeah. No. Heavier object move slower. Yeah. Heavier object should move faster. No. I answer. Wait till you see my A level grade, AS level. Mm. A level is going to go back out, but AS mm. is going to be the peak of my grade. 
Actually, mm. no, I just said, hey, give me an A star. Why? You didn't give me the grade. Wait, you didn't give the grade? <laughs> I got that by myself? <laughs> I got 91. 